Hey guys, today I've got the Tello and the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi extender. We're gonna see if this thing actually works. It's only about 15 bucks or less from various sources. So will this get you more range, better video quality on the Tello? We're gonna find out, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now you're gonna to wanna to stick around for four key tips on how to speed up this whole setup process. It is very time consuming uh, your first time around if you don't have these pointers. So stick around for the end of the video if you want a fully detailed description of how to set up the Wi-Fi extender. Here all I'm showing you is uh, what happens when it is set up. Uh, some pointers from our buddy Jay Drone on uh, entering the app before you actually turn on the Tello or connect to the Wi-Fi network. You do see the blue light there on the extender, which indicates you're good. You get the extra network, which has the plus at the end. You'll see two Wi-Fi networks there, and then you're ready to go. So let's take this out on site to our favorite farm property. Uh, not ours, but that's uh, our favorite place to go fly sometimes. Uh, at the starting point, we have the controls, which is a smartphone and the Wi-Fi extender. We're gonna be flying, uh, keep track of that tree there in the middle and the finish line over on the left. There you can see the tree it pop up, identified right there, and the tello quickly disappears out of view. So we're gonna switch on over uh, to what you see on the screen and we'll see exactly when the signal cuts out, which is actually right around the tree. So you see the video freezes. Luckily, we don't lose control of the drone. I'm still flying here, which you can't see, uh, and you can't see it in the feed but you are able to control the drone even when you do lose video, but lose video uh, around the tree, which is at our halfway point, which is around 125 feet from the starting line. This is falling short of where we'd like to fly the tail. We've got two houses nearby and potentially the Wi-Fi interference from those contributing. We'll do a little palm landing here and uh, before you know it, uh, we'll be off again. So we're gonna set up on the Tello network and do a throw and go and uh, we'll be off again with a race. Now let's watch that one more time from the side. You see the extender down there on the ground, uh, right at my feet, it's staying uh, next to me. Now you will notice an extender typically goes between you or the device you're using and your primary router. Not what we're doing here because you don't really know where you're gonna be flying. You're gonna tend to have the extender near you. Didn't wanna cheat the test and that's why we kept it right by us or by my feet. So this time, blasting by the tree, still get a nice clear video feed. Uh, you see the signal starting to drop out. I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit there. And I'm basically at the finish line here, what we're calling the finish line, this other house. And you can see the Wi-Fi signal starting to fall apart a bit. Whoa, who is that guy? Uh, where is the fire jack? Never wanting to miss uh, a good clip here, trying to get a little video of the Tello at the finish line. And we'll use a little bit of his footage here. Uh, coming in back to the starting point, me and uh, Jojo Siwa here at the finish line. So a successful test. We did do better. Let's take a look at what that looks like uh, from a top view on the map. You see the Tello flying there, getting around 125 feet as I mentioned. More than doubling that at 280 feet at the finish line not too bad doubling your range. Now I wasn't satisfied, I wanted to test it in an even more crowded Wi-Fi environment and I tested a few more things as well and learned some interesting stuff. Already struggling at 10 meters up here, about 30 feet, uh, losing it right away just, just on altitude alone. So I thought I could fly it forward a little bit, maybe regain that, maybe the antenna orientation was an issue. I did regain that, but at 100 feet really cut out. Now this is with the antenna on and position downward, got around 150 feet, propped that antenna up again and kept on flying. Uh, went quite a bit further with that. I'm gonna turn around here so you can see uh, how far I am from the starting point at the beginning of that park. Now I noticed one thing here, the signal got stronger. Couldn't believe it and so why not? Keep fleeing, flying backwards and keep going further. Now. What's cool about this is, uh, well, this drone really seems built for dronies. It's built to fly away from you. Seems how they positioned the antenna to be optimized for that. As I turn sideways to see where I am, you start to lose the signal and I regain it again, facing the drone back towards me. Now let's just uh, skip ahead again uh, to the logical conclusion here, out over the street, 
getting a little lossy and I decided to bring it home um, much, much further than I was flying when going forward or sideways. So optimize for range that way. You do see it's giving me this error, but never losing the video feed on my smartphone. You will see some of the choppiness in the video. The lack of stabilization is due actually to the wind on this day. It was a little bit breezy. The tele was flashing all kinds of errors there. As I fly through the uh, playset there and come in for a landing, you will see the Wi-Fi extender on the ground there in front of me or behind me with the antenna sticking up. Now let's look again at a map of how we did. So the Tello on its own flew just about 100 feet with the antenna on but down flew around 150, flying forward around 250 and backwards about 500, doubling again the range just by flying backwards. If you haven't figured it out yet, we do recommend you get this Wi-Fi extender. And if you are gonna get it, we recommend you stick around for the rest of the video. We've got four time-saving tips that are gonna save you a lot of time. The first one, stick your Tello on a fan. Why? Ours at least does overheat. The setup process can take a few minutes, so save yourself some headache and stick it on a fan. Why not? Next, when you're setting it up, set your region as other. Do not set it as Europe or the United States or wherever you are. Scroll on down and pick other. Other. If you don't do that, you may not get the Wi-Fi extender in the list of potential connected devices that you can use the app for. Once you've done that, you're going to set up on the uh, Wi-Fi network of the device once it's plugged into a power source. And uh, click that the yellow light is blinking, then switch over. You're going to want to turn on the Tello at this point and switch it over. Now, here's the third key point is set your password as eight zeros. That seems to work just fine. Do not set the password up on the Tello app. Don't use that. If you do, uh, at least for us, it turns your Tello into a brick. In order to reset it, I had to hold down the power button for a long time to recover a password-free Wi-Fi network. The last pointer here, ignore the error you get at the end. If you have a blue light on the Wi-Fi extender, that's all you need. You are good. I think it's just telling you you're not connected to the internet. Blue light, you're all set. Once you see that, you'll see an extra Wi-Fi network, which is the Tello with the unique name and the plus at the end, and you are ready to fly. So I hope this video was useful. Here you can see the Tello hovering. Uh, it's the most stable indoor drone we've ever tested. We've got a full review. Go ahead and watch that. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Use the links below to buy your Tello or the Wi-Fi extender. Doing that helps us out and it costs you nothing. As I said, subscribe and check us out at halfchrome.com. We'll see you next time.